What's up guys, Everyday I Tech here, and apologies for this video being a little bit late. As I am back on the channel, I am still updating a bunch of things in the background that you guys probably don't notice, but anyways, I will be ramping up the speed of uploads here in a little bit. Anyways, iOS 26.2 Beta 3 has been released, and I have already went ahead and installed it. So, let's jump in and take a look at some of the new stuff in the Apple world. Alright, so first, let's go ahead and just jump in and get some of the boring stuff out of the way so if i go to settings and then general and then about you guys can see that this is the build number of ios 26.2 right over here it has a b at the end which means it's going to be officially and publicly released soon so the rc version is coming very shortly which the release candidate and that's the final version before the official and public release now if i go to the bottom over here and about you guys can see oh wait no oh, now over there not that bottom right over here you guys can see i have 474.74 gigabytes available so yeah 474 4.73 gigabytes now if i hop into the previous one this is a screenshot from when i was on beta 2 you guys can see i did have available 474.29 so it looks like we gained around 400 megabytes of free storage okay i thought i was tripping it's still recalculating everything so now it's 474.6 so around 300 to 400 megabytes of space will be freed up once you install beta 3 All right so ios 26.2 beta 2 and 3 do block the guest star exploit that was recently found now before you get your hopes up this is not for a jailbreak i was hoping the same thing but it basically does kind of allow some tweaks to run on your iphone and ipad so with the gestalt exploit misaka 26 has been released and with that you're able to run ipad os on your iphone so you can do multitasking and all that cool stuff and yes i will have a video coming shortly on that but again just do know Note that if you're on iOS 26.2 beta 2 and beta 3, they do block the exploit. iOS 26.2 beta 1 is still working with the exploits, but ultimately since iOS 26.2 beta 1 is pretty buggy, you guys know the previous glitch of when you swipe over to the widget center, it, it just lags a lot and it's like not smooth. So because of that, if you do want to take advantage of the exploit and be able to do a ton of cool stuff on your iPhone and iPad, I would downgrade to ios 26.1 now i will have a video dropping soon and again on how to downgrade ios 26.2 to ios 26.1 and again i think ios 26.1 is going to be the best spot to be the sweet spot for this exploit if you do want to experiment with enabling some cool features on your iphone and ipad otherwise if you don't care about that just go ahead and update but again i will have two videos dropping soon one on how to downgrade ios 26.2 26.2 to iOS 26.1 and the other one on Misaka 26 so you can enable iPad OS on your iPhone and iPad which by the way is right now pretty buggy so I do not recommend doing it on your main device but if you have a separate device laying around then I would just go ahead and try it out and have some fun with it as it's only gonna get better and oh boy that is just so cool now of course it's not as cool as a full jailbreak trust me I really want a jailbreak too hopefully this will revive jailbreak Breaking. Let's go ahead and make Joe Breaking great again. Who's with me? So down below in the description, I will also link the Patreons and any donation page of the developers who have developed these projects to find these exploits and be able to do all this cool stuff on your iPhone and iPad. There's an issue with the iPhone 17 Pro and Max discoloration again. So before we saw how some people left their iPhone 17 slash Max in cosmic orange in the sun and after some time, it would just turn pink to get kind of a rose gold color which i am a fan of rose gold but frankly it does not look good on the 17 anyways it's starting to get even worse with the cosmic orange color as much as i do love it and you guys see i've been keeping mine pretty pristine if i do say so myself but anyways this new issue arises with alcohol wipes guys for some people using alcohol wipes i don't know if they're using like super aggressive or something but it's starting to remove the cosmic orange color on the iphone which is absolutely insane this brings it to question whether we have a new gate and it is called color gate now before you guys go off on me in the comments alcohol wipes cannot do this damage to your iphone this post was just to rage bait engagement so don't believe everything that you see on the internet 
However, the iPhone 17 Pro turning pink is a real thing that many people have experienced and Apple has also addressed. Anywho, in other news, Apple is being forced to allow third-party app stores in Japan as well. So this is going to be the 29th country that is going to have a third-party app store. So this is all for the pro-competitive non-compete laws. So basically, the app store was basically a monopoly. And now all these countries are retaliating because on Android, you can install any third-party app store and start installing apps. Well, sure, on iPhone and iPad, you can sideload apps. There's actually no official third-party app store that allows to do that. So Alt Store, the EU version, is also going to be available in Japan as well. Hopefully, we get some like really, really cool different type of app store that's able to just be installed and you have like a separate app icon and everything versus having to sideload stuff. And hopefully, soon enough, with all these countries retaliating, hopefully, the United States somehow is forced to allow third-party app stores as well. I just want to be able to install City on my device, bro. Am I crazy? Okay, so let's just say you allow City to be installed, okay? People will love their iPhones more. The sales will go up. iPhone will no longer be called boring. And sure, okay, if people do decide to jailbreak their phone, void their warranty, okay? But again, you guys know the whole restore trick to get you back your warranty. Am I right? Wink, wink. Anyway, since we somehow rounded up back to jailbreak again, again, if you do want some tweaks and cool stuff to be available on your iPhone and iPad that you could do here. Well, actually right now and more stuff in the future, then downgrade to iOS 26.1 and stay there. Turn off automatic updates. You would just go into settings. Then you would go to general and then software update. And where it says automatic updates, you would just hit either just download or turn that off. But make sure automatically install is not enabled. Otherwise, when Apple does stop signing iOS 26.1, you will no longer be able to downgrade. Okay, let's go back to talking about iOS 26.2 beta 3. But did you know that in the measure app, now they tweaked a little bit to make it a little bit more legible. So I know my screen's a little dirty, okay? I'm gonna rush to make this video. All right, so you can see that on the left, I'm running beta two. And when I go around the middle right here, you can't even read what the text is saying. Is that a two or a three? I don't know. But on beta three, if I go down over here, you guys can see, even if I go to the middle right there, it still shows a number. And when you're right in the middle, of course it flashes green. So yeah, the level in itself is still, again, really cool and fun to play around with. And yeah, he's got bubbles floating around and for the last update in beta 3 if you open up settings head down over to general and then tap on airdrop yeah i can see that we have a new option there manage known airdrop contact so you guys can see this was not there in beta 2 but it is on beta 3 it states you will automatically appear for 30 days to people you have shared a one-time code with so let's say you're on a business trip and it's transferring a bunch of files to your colleague but you don't necessarily want to go through the the hassle of enabling airdrop to be linked between those devices all the time this will make it more seamless so basically you'll be able to get a code from that other device that you're sending to and to type it in over here and just like that you could airdrop seamlessly for 30 days and i think this is getting rid of the feature where people were in an airplane or something and then they'll just airdrop a random photo of the pilot's on the wing of the plane to all the passengers on the plane. So I guess you cannot do that little prank no more. But yeah, guys, now let's go ahead and run a geek bench. Did iOS 26.2 beta 3 get a little faster or a little bit slower? We shall find out. All right, so dun, 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 the CPU benchmark results are here in Geekbench. So we have a single core score of 3,612 and a multi-core score of 9,270. Now going back to the previous one, so again, 3,612, 9,270. Why don't just look over here? Okay, so anyways, yeah, I can see up at the very top is beta 3. Then over here, we have beta 2. And then over here, we have beta 1. So it looks like beta 1, although it was the buggiest and the laggiest, it did have the highest score. And looks like with the newer betas, we're just going down in scores. So I don't know. It's pretty marginal, but overall, it seems to be running smoother. So I wouldn't really take that into consideration that much, you know? Like, there's no widget lag anymore. Everything is just a lot smoother. Again, the animations 
are pretty fluid. It looks like, it's like a water droplet. So yeah, essentially beta 3 just feels like a, of course, more refined beta 2. So there's fixing UI elements like again in the measure app where it increased the readability and again other UI enhancements and it's making it run a lot more smooth. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe for much more content. Again, I'm about to go full throttle here on YouTube. I was at negative 900 subscribers at the beginning of this month and now it's at negative 90 so that's a huge jump up so thanks for all the support i really appreciate it if you haven't already again be sure to get subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace